Hello, I'm Miss Jordy, the young adult librarian at the Augusta Richmond County Public Library. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to share several winter holidays that are celebrated around the world, along with some book recommendations that will help educate and help celebrate this holiday season. Hanukkah, which is also known as the Festival of Lights, is an eight-day Jewish celebration that commemorates the rededication of the Second Temple in Jerusalem during the second century BC. Hanukkah means dedication in Hebrew. The holiday is celebrated with the lighting of the menorah, which is a nine branch candelabrum where each night of Hanukkah, one of the candles or oil lamps is lit with the center candle called the shamash, meaning helper or servant. The holiday is also celebrated with traditional foods that are fried in oil, such as potato pancakes called latkes and jam filled donuts as well as playing with four-sided spinning tops called dreidels and giving gifts. The Beanstack Blog recommends these two books to help educate and celebrate Hanukkah, Dreidels on the Brain by Joel Ben Izzy for middle grades and Recommended for You by Laura Silverman for teens. Christmas, which is very popular in the United States, is celebrated around the world for religious reasons or as a cultural celebration. It is celebrated differently in various countries. In Australia, Christmas falls during the summer season when the students start their summer break from school. On Christmas, it is popular to go camping or to the beach. Australians decorate their Christmas trees with native plants such as the Christmas bush and with Christmas bells. Instead of leaving milk and cookies for Santa, children leave cake or cookies and a cold beer. Because it's summer, don't find it strange to find Santa in shorts. Australians sing Christmas carols that are common around the world, but they also have their own Christmas songs. Some of their holiday meal traditions are pavlova cake, which is a meringue cake topped with fruit and served as a dessert, plum pudding, and Christmas damper bread, which is a kind of soda bread from colonial times that you can bake into the shape of a star or wreath and eat with honey or jam. Christmas is not a public holiday in mainland China and is often only celebrated in major cities. Only 1% of the population officially are Christians, and China's Christians generally celebrate Christmas religiously. They go to special services such as Midnight Mass. Generally, gifts are not given at Christmas. However, giving apples has become a popular Christmas Eve tradition. Although most of the plastic Christmas trees and Christmas decorations are made in China, only a few people have Christmas trees. Carol singing in the streets is rarely seen, although it's popular in Christians' houses where the karaoke machine may be used. Santa Claus is called Sheng Den La Ren, which means Father Christmas. Christmas traditions in Great Britain are similar to those in the U.S. Children sometimes leave mince pies and brandy for Santa, who is known as Father Christmas. The children often write letters to Santa, but sometimes they are placed in the fireplace instead of mailing them so that they will float up the chimney and fly to the North Pole. Nativity plays and carol services are popular in Great Britain. In India, compared to other religious festivals, Christmas is quite a small festival due to the number of people who are Christians, which is about 2.3%. The population of India is over 1 billion, so there are over 25 million Christians. Midnight Mass is a very important service for Christians, especially Catholics. The churches are decorated with poinsettia flowers and candles. Instead of having traditional Christmas trees, a banana or mango tree is often decorated. The main Christmas meal is eaten on Christmas Eve and is also Western, with roast turkey and chicken being popular. In Ireland, the Christmas celebration lasts from Christmas Eve to the Feast of Epiphany on January 6th, which is known as Little Christmas. There is an old tradition in some Irish houses where people put a tall, thick candle on the sill of the largest window after sunset on Christmas Eve. The candle is left to burn all night and represents a welcoming light for Mary and Joseph. Santa Claus is known as St. Nicholas or Father Christmas. For the Irish, St. Stephen's Day on December 26th is almost as important as Christmas. Some traditional historic Christmas foods are 
a round cake full of caraway seeds, turkey for Christmas dinner, spiced beef, and Christmas pudding. In Mexico, the Christmas celebration lasts from December 12th to January 6th. From December 16th to Christmas Eve, children often perform the Posada processions, of which there are nine. Posada is Spanish for inn or lodging. These celebrate the part of the Christmas story where Joseph and Mary look for somewhere to stay. In Mexico, nativity scenes known as the Nacimiento are very popular. They are often very large with the figures being life-size. Christmas Eve, which is known as Noche Buena, is a family day where after taking part in the final posada, families have their main Christmas meal that evening. At midnight, many people go to midnight mass service. In some states in Mexico, children expect Santa Claus to come on December 24th. In the south of Mexico, children expect presents on January 6th at Epiphany, which is known as El Dia de los Reyes. On El Dia de los Reyes, the presents are left by the three kings or magi. So if you had a visit from Santa on Christmas Eve, you might also get some candy on El Dia de los Reyes. In Sweden, St. Lucia Day or St. Lucy's Day is celebrated on December 13th, which is the old winter solstice. It is also celebrated in Denmark, Norway, Finland, Bosnia, Croatia, and some parts of Italy. It is in honor of St. Lucia, a young Christian girl who was martyred for her faith in 304 AD. On this day, young girls wear white dresses with red sashes and a crown of candles. Lusakat, which are Sweden saffron buns, is a popular food on this day. Christmas Eve is a very important day and it's when the main meal, often a buffet called a jewel bird, is eaten. The end of the Christmas celebration is on January 13th, which is called a 20th day canoe or a 20th day yule. In Zimbabwe, Christmas Day starts with a church service. After service, everyone has a party in their homes and people go from house to house visiting all of their family and friends on their way home. At each house, there is food and presents are exchanged. It is common for everyone to wear their best clothes for Christmas. And a lot of people get their biggest stereo speakers and place them outside the front of their houses to play their favorite Christmas music, latest pop tunes, and old African favorites. Children in Zimbabwe believe that Santa Claus brings their presents early on Christmas Day. Christmas carols are sung during the Christmas Day morning service, and chicken with rice is the special food eaten at Christmas. Because chicken is very expensive in Zimbabwe, it's a special treat for Christmas. To celebrate Christmas, Beanstack recommends the following books. From Middle Grades, The Glass Beneath Our Feet by David Barclay Moore and The Vander Beakers of 141st Street by Karina Young Glazer. And for teens, The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Han. If you enjoy reading nonfiction, be sure to read the book Christmas Around the World, A Celebration by Jacqueline Ridley, which we have here at the headquarters branch. Kwanzaa is an African-American holiday which is celebrated from December 26th through January 1st. It was created by Dr. Molana Karanga, a professor and chairman of Black Studies at California State University in Long Beach in 1966. The name Kwanzaa is derived from the phrase Matunda Ya Kwanzaa, which means first fruits in Swahili. Kwanzaa is based on the agricultural celebration of Africa called the first fruits and is a celebration of African-American heritage and achievement. It was created to introduce and reinforce seven basic values of African culture, which are the following, unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. To learn more about Kwanzaa, be sure to read the following books. From Middle Grades, read The Story of Kwanzaa, First Fruits, How Kwanzaa Began by Brian Edwards. And for teens, be sure to read Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and Ellen Hagen. Boxing Day is celebrated on December 26th, but sometimes observed on December 27th. It is a public holiday in the United Kingdom and other British Commonwealth countries, such as Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and South Africa. 
It originated in Great Britain as a holiday to give gifts to the poor. Currently, it is primarily known as a shopping holiday, similar to Black Friday in the U.S. It is also a popular holiday for watching sports, such as football, which we know here in the U.S. as soccer, watching cricket, shopping, and visiting friends. Winter solstice occurs when one of the Earth's poles has its maximum tilt away from the sun and is the day with the shortest amount of sunlight and the longest night of the year. This year, it fell on December 21st. Many cultures still celebrate with unique winter solstice traditions, such as St. Lucia's Day in Scandinavia, Dongzi in China, the Stonehenge Gathering in England, the Burning of Clocks Festival in Brighton, England, and Dongji in South Korea. Two book recommendations to celebrate Winter Solstice are Breadcrumbs by Ann Ursu for middle grades and Shiver by Maggie Steve Bader for teens. These are the sources that I use for this presentation. Feel free to explore these websites further to find out more about these winter holiday celebrations. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about the various winter holiday celebrations around the world. Be sure to check out at least one of these recommended books to celebrate this holiday season. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Bye-bye.